Today we will see examples related to triangle and its parts. Example Classify the given triangles on the basis of their sides and angles. If we talk about triangle PQR, the measurement of the three sides of this triangle is different, so it is named on the basis of the sides. This triangle is called a scalene triangle. We can see that the angle PRQ in it is a right angle. So, based on the angles, it will be classified as a right angled triangle. Seeing the figure of triangle EFG, we find that the two sides of this triangle are equal. So, it is an isosceles triangle. Since one of its angles, angle GEF, is greater than 90 degrees, hence it is an obtuse angle, therefore it is an obtuse angled triangle. Next example. Identify the parts indicated in the triangle LMN. Here we are given triangle LMN. Observing the triangle we know that its vertices are L, M and N. Sides are LM. MN and LN and its angles are angle LMN, angle MNL and angle NLM. Now if we see here the side MN is opposite to the vertex L. That is MN is the opposite side of the vertex L. Similarly the vertex and the opposite side pairs is the vertex N and the side LM and the vertex M and the side LN. As you can see here, the line segment LK is made on the opposite side MN from the vertex L. Here, from this sign, we get to know that here, angle LKN is equal to angle LKM is equal to 90 degrees. That is, the line segment LK is perpendicular to the side MN of the triangle. We know that a perpendicular drawn from a vertex to its opposite side is called an altitude of the triangle. In this way, LK is an altitude of triangle LMN. Similarly, we can see that the line segment NJ intersects the side LM at point J. If we look at line segment LJ and line segment JM, both are marked with the same symbol. Can you tell me what do they mean? Think about it. Absolutely correct. Here these signs tell us that the length of line segment LJ is equal to the length of line segment JM. That is, the point J is the midpoint of the side LM. Since the line segment NJ is connecting the vertex N with the midpoint J of its opposite side LM, NJ is a median. The line segment that connects a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of its opposite side is called a median. In this way, we have identified the parts of triangle LMN. Next example. In the equilateral triangle, PTS shown here, TQ, is the median and TR is the altitude. Find which of the following statements is correct. As you must know, a line segment that connects a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of its opposite side is called a median. Since the line segment TQ is the median here, we can say that point Q is the midpoint of the side SP. That is, SQ is equal to QP. You can see, SQ is equal to QP is given explicitly in the first statement. So, we can say, that the first option is correct. Now let's talk about the second option. Suppose the lengths of line segment SR and line segment RP are equal. As you can see here, SR is smaller than SQ. If this option is correct, then we can put RP in place of SR. Similarly, as we saw, SQ is equal to QP, so we can put QP in place of SQ. Then tell us, is inequality RP smaller than QP true? Think about it. Absolutely right. It is not true. 
Looking at the figure, we can say that RP is greater than QP here. From this, we can say that SR is equal to RP is an incorrect option. For the third statement, we need to understand the altitude. A perpendicular drawn from a vertex to its opposite side is called an altitude of a triangle. In this way, we can say that angle TRP is equal to 90 degrees. That is, the third option is correct. Only one perpendicular can be drawn on a line from a vertex. Since we have obtained this perpendicular TR from the vertex T, there can't be any other line segment which is perpendicular to side SP from the vertex T. In this way, we can say that angle TQP cannot be equal to 90 degrees. Hence, the fourth option is incorrect. So today we saw examples related to triangle and its parts. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to them.